everybody, thanks for joining us. We're about eight miles north of Traverse City and 31 at the Music House Museum. With us is Kelly Roberts Curtis, who is uh, in charge of marketing and other things here at the mm -hmm. Music House. Thanks for taking the time. Well, what is this place? It is a, I mean, in de by definition, we're a collection of automated musical mu instruments, but that doesn't sound very exciting, and it is right. a really cool, exciting place. Uh, it is connecting people people with the enduring magic of music. It, it's sort of the um, journey that people have gone right. on to make music a part of their everyday life, and right. we take it for granted, but it is a it is one of the most unique collections in the world. We have uh, instruments as old as uh, from the late 1700s through, I mean, our, our main uh, touring area right. is, uh, um, we give a guided tour, and that is automated musical instruments. They, that's more um, from 1850 through the um, late 20s when automated music kind of went out. Yeah, and a great place to learn about the history of music, the sound, and how you create it and things like that. All right, so we're, we're into the busy season now. We're past Memorial Day. What's going to go on here over the summer? We have, well, uh, tours every day. Uh, May through October, uh, seven days a week, and then we also have a lot of great um, uh, programs, musical programs. Right. We have concerts, we have a silent film series that will be kicking off. Our first one will be June 10th. We're starting with Buster Keaton double yeah. feature. So yeah, yeah. yeah, Steve Larson, the uh, pianist from Interlochen and the accompanist from Interlochen will be accompanying that. And then- Yeah, let, and I want to drill down on that for a second because if you're not understanding what goes on here, You'll play a silent movie, but you have someone live yes. playing an instrument, usually what? The piano or the organ? It's usually the Wurlitzer. Yeah. Steve is the only one that uh, comes in and plays the piano, but it's also, it's just fascinating to watch. To, that's the way they were supposed to be seen. In the right. Movies. So you're watching a silent movie sort of the way it was meant to with live music, and it really is uh, impressive. It is. I can't believe, especially watching them play the Wurlitzer Theater organ, and it's so complex. It's almost hard not to watch the organist rather than the movie. And there are many things to see here at the museum. Matter of fact, we are what? Uh, where the phonographs are. Yes. For this, yeah, we have for our silent uh, or self guided tour area, we yeah. have the phonograph section. It also has uh, really cool jukeboxes from the very beginning. Um, and then we also. Um, uh, in the other area, we have radios, the history of radios, the self-guided tour area. And there's a basement, correct? The, the basement's more for meetings and such. We don't have anything in there. Um, so it's just, it's, we'd like to move our collection down there eventually. Right, but there are plenty of different things to see here yeah. and plenty of different rooms and things to do. Okay, where can people go to find out more information about the, mu uh, the, the museum? You go to musichouse.org, and that's the best place to find information. We have events and, and schedules, and you can buy tickets for all of our events on in the event section. Just click on upcoming events. We also have a great gift shop here. I can't go... I can't be a good marketer without saying what a wonderful... Right. So if you have uh, musical friends and are looking for unique gifts, we have wonderful musical themed gifts in our gift shop. The only thing you need now is craft beer. Yeah, there's that liquor Probably license not. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. It was great. Talking about the Music House Museum, very close to Traverse City on 31. For My News 26 and My TV 12, I'm Vic McCarty.